with you, and we're going to keep tobacco the king of all the crops in North Carolina. Have a good no politician in North Carolina could afford to say otherwise, but the kingdom of king tobacco is under siege from within and without overwhelming both farmers and politicians. Their number one concern is the Tobacco Stabilization Corporation, a federally run, farmer-financed cooperative. The cooperative helps farmers by buying tobacco not sold on the open market, thereby maintaining stable prices. But the program is overburdened. Stabilization now holds some 758 million pounds of tobacco, and more and more of the growers' profits is going to support the system. Still, farmers say it is important for their survival. Important enough that if we don't have it, we can't farm. Because so if we lose the price of pork, we might as well quit farming. In addition, American tobacco companies are buying an increasing amount of cheaper foreign tobacco, leaving even more American tobacco for stabilization. To make matters worse, non-tobacco state politicians in Washington are calling for the elimination of the stabilization program. All of this makes political fodder for the hot Senate battle between Republican Jesse Helms and Democrat Governor Jim Hunt. Helm says, as chairman of the Senate Agriculture Committee, the first from this state in 140 years, only he can save the tobacco program. The tobacco program is going to survive as long as I'm chairman of the Senate Agriculture Committee. Now, if I'm replaced, uh, I think it uh, will be voted out of existence. But at their tobacco recent debate, Hunt countered the that the program is embattled have, because the controversial Helms Washington has made more enemies than elected. friends in the Senate. Hunt and says he would change elected. that. I think I can go to the Senate and make a lot of friends for tobacco. Many agricultural economists predict that sooner than later, King Tobacco will fall from his throne, that North Carolina's leading cash crop will be replaced by others. But no politician this election year dares say that. They pledge to keep the present system alive as long as possible. Bill Whitaker, WBTV News, Raleigh.